Hey, I'm Mark DeMeo. I'm a retired New York City police officer, a stand-up comedian, and a New York native. For 20 years, I listened to civilians complain. Where do cops go to complain? Right here. P.O.'d. Hey, what's up? This is Mark DeMeo, and welcome back to P.O.'d. On this episode, we are shooting in the Broadway Comedy Club on 53rd Street and 8th Avenue in the Red Room. I have special guests here today, and some of them you might recognize from past episodes. Lieutenant Robert Johnson from the Special Victims Unit. I've also asked retired uh, Manhattan North Homicide Sergeant Bill Cannon. And we also have a first time guest here, um, a retired NYPD detective from the 104 squad. We work together, Sharon Sable. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Good to see you again. Thanks for having me. I'm really, really excited because this time what we decided to do on PO'd, the web series where cops go to complain a little bit if we have something we want to get off our chest, something that we're pissed off about. This time we decided that we wanted to turn the tables. We wanted to find out what our audience had to say. So, we, so I asked you um, to submit questions. I asked you to submit stories. Complain, I don't care, I wanna hear it. If you got comments, okay, and, or if you have questions, something that you always wanted to ask a cop. We got a bunch of them right here, so I'm gonna take it from the top. We're gonna get a little bit from each one of you. And the first uh, story we got comes from uh, Cab Esker 8. Something like that. One time my dad called the cops on the neighbors because we'd always get into fights with them. But this time was different because she was, shoot because she was being hostile. When the cops got there, he accused my dad of being drunk and pointed a taser gun at him for no reason. What would you say would be the reasoning for some cops to assess a situation so inc incorrectly, so quickly? Thanks, Mark. First of all, uh, the cop pulled the taser on on your dad, and uh, that's a tough one because tasers are fun. <laughs> now, if I carried a taser, I would have used it all the time. Uh, I would have used it on your dad, the neighbor, the lady who called. <laughs> I would just <laughs> tasers are fun. So this is a tough one for me. What I can say is that, that when you show up at a situation, and um, you don't know your what happened there. Sometimes the first person that approaches you might sound really convincing and that you gotta always be neutral. You gotta hear this person, but make sure that you have, you can hear that person too. And then you gotta kinda sorta be like the, the wisdom of Solomon over there. And that's why I say tase them both, because you don't know who's right or wrong. <laughs> Sharon? Well, I say there's more to that story, first of all. For the cop to right off the bat say your father was drunk, Safety first, I'm not getting hurt if I'm the cop. Uh -huh. And if I see somebody acting out and I have a taser and he's coming towards me, I'm pulling it out. But just because he pulled it out, the cop, doesn't mean he's gonna use it. You still have that time to think, am I going to use it? Do I need to use it? I just like to always say that, that you know, there's three, three sides to every story, you know? Her story, the neighbor's story, and then the, the truth lies somewhere in between. Uh -huh. right. So it sounds strange to me that the cop just came out with your father's drunk. Yeah, so you agree with me, tase them all, right? Yes, tase uh, everyone and let, don't let God sort them out. <laughs> tase them, watch them, uh, and then let God get them up and sort them out. Rob, what do you think? They didn't use the taser, why are we talking about it? You know, they didn't tase them, did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pulled it out, yeah, but, uh, but they didn't use it. Well, you know. Maybe he was belligerent, maybe he was hostile. Who would what? pull a taser well, out and not use it, man? Active. It's you fun to use it. I see, I never got a chance to use a taser, but if you gave me a taser, I can guarantee you I'm gonna use it. You know, I'm gonna probably use it the first day I got it. Did you ever see somebody get tased? Yeah. It's so much fun, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like fun? All of a sudden they're running and they're like, Ugh! and then they're like dead, like, they do, oh! They do the they not, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one comes from Peaches. Peaches. Peaches, huh? She made that name up, come on. Where's her? is the question. I can run her in cars. Peaches, Peaches is Remember about Peaches 50 her? hits. Yeah, yeah, Peaches <laughs> Why do police departments need armored vehicles? Sharon, this one goes to you. Uh, because you never know what's gonna happen, and why not? When, when shit hits the fan, you bring out the big guns. Yes. I want my big guns and armored cars. Rob? Because people drop heavy shit off of roofs onto police cars. Okay, Bill? There's two words, active shooters. 
All right, go ahead. No, and active shooters can bring heavy weaponry. And the okay. police have to be able to at least match the weaponry that mm -hmm. active shooters bring to engage them, and that's why we have armored vehicles. And Angel Enrique, cops aren't funny, but he spelled it P-H-U-N-N-Y. Angel Enrique, uh, cops might not be funny, but you're stupid, because that's not the way you spell funny. <laughs> All right, everybody knows funny is spelled F-O-N-N-I-E, right? <laughs> um, listen, cops are funny, man. Cops, as a matter of fact, the funniest job I ever worked at was cops. You be, see, that's a hater right there, by He's the way. The He's cops. never hung out with cops. No. Cops, to me, are the funniest yeah, job. You know, Anything I else cops there? are some of the funniest people I ever met. I know. You know and I've, you know, I've been on this earth a pretty long time, and uh, cops are funny people. Next time, send an address in so I can send you a dictionary. <laughs> Freaking idiot. All right, so I don't know about you guys. I had a great time. This is the most fun that I've had on PO so far. And I just want to say, um, please keep the questions, comments, stories coming in. Submit them. We'll get to them. And we'll have fun with them. I hope that we answered some of your questions seriously. I hope that you had a laugh along the way, too. On behalf of PO, my name is Mark DeMeo. Over and out. Now, if I carried a taser, I would have used it all the time. I would have used it on the dad, the neighbor, the lady who called. I would just keep... What? The tasers are fun. Come on, pick something already. Let's go. Keep it moving. Pick something. Come on. Jeez.